what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. All right, man. Danny Garcia defeats Jose Benavidez. Uh, unanimous decision. Why unanimous decision? Um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, yeah, I mean, Tony Harrison was there scouting Danny Garcia. We'll talk about that at a later date. Um, but uh, what did we learn about Danny Garcia at welterweight? Uh, I mean, at super welterweight, or you want to call it junior middleweight? I'm, 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 he looks sharp after a long layoff. So he wasn't just, uh, you know, sitting on his ass eating Twinkies and et cetera. He looked real sharp. Um, he controlled the pace. Um, punches look a little sharper. You know, punches look, you know, look really good in the eight ounce gloves. Um, you know, you hear his punches thud. He physically looked, you know, feel Danny didn't look drained. I just say this anytime with Danny Garcia is sticking and moving, utilizing the ring and being the fighter, that's the boxer. And, you know, he being the, the, uh, the matador and he looking slick and he moving. It's a problem. Jose Benavidez Jr. is just compromised. All right. I don't remember seeing him early in his career before that the, he got shot in the leg, but he compromised. And that's why Danny Garcia was able to utilize the ring. That's why his last opponent was able to utilize the ring. He, he His leg is compromised. You got to understand your feet is everything in boxing. It puts you in the position to, to be offensive. I mean, put you in the position to be defensive. It puts you in the uh, position to transition from offense to defense, defense and offense and anything in between. And he simply, you know, that's why he put his, his slap his gloves together. And that's why you see a lot of frustration. All right, because he can't do his, what his mind want to do is his leg can't do it. And as simple as that, you know, um, you know, got some natural power. But imagine if he really can plant down on that leg and move that leg like he should. But he wouldn't be the fleet of mo the greatest fleet of foot fighter, but he wouldn't be behind the eight ball. And all this was Danny Garcia just, you know, taking the lead like a slave last dance, walking him in shots, boxing. He did whatever he wanted to do with him. You know, he did everything he wanted to do with him. You know, he looked sharp. He looked strong. Um, he going to look even stronger this next time at 154 pounds. He might be closer to the actual limit. I mean, Benavidez came in at 172, over around 172 pounds his second day weigh in. And that don't mean nothing. I told you guys. You and When you put on that amount of weight after after weight in, you got to know what you're doing, you know. And, you know, for him, he probably should have came in a little bit lighter you know, given that his leg is hampering him. But Danny did what he wanted to do. You know, should Danny have pressed for the stoppage? Nah, you know, Benavidez was hitting him with some shit. Bar bare minimum, Benavidez was punching and trying to counter him. You know, and I, you know, he's punching and trying to counter him. So, um, like I said before, I know Benavidez just didn't have his hand up. But, uh, yeah, Danny did everything he wanted to do. He doing a little dumb Tony Montana, little dance, whatever. But we knew the outcome. This is easy money. Um, I thought Danny Garcia was gonna step it up and get the stoppage, but Jose is tough, and Danny was just content with you know one, two, three shots, four shots, maybe one, two, one, two, three. He was very content in his attack. And when you get comfortable like that, you get into a group. Ain't no point in taking no chances of getting caught. Benavidez, we you know we don't know we don't know nothing else about him. He can he can punch. I can tell by the way he was hitting Danny Garcia a couple of times. He can punch. He can punch. You know, and then he just he don't want nothing to really do different. He couldn't press the attack like the announcers wanted to because he his leg compromised. For you to press the attack, you gotta you close the gap. You gotta cut the ring off, then attack. He couldn't cut the ring off because his leg. So his career virtually is over with, bro. To be honest, it's over with. You know, um, his lifestyle outside the ring, you know, hampered his 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 uh hampered his uh his product in the ring, hampered his brand. You know, whatever they got going on in the street, it wasn't worth this. Benavidez's career probably be in a different different stratosphere. You know, but Danny Garcia, they knew exactly, you know, what they was picking, they knew exactly what they was getting. They knew exactly, but this ain't gonna help you for Laura. This ain't gonna help you for Tony Harrison. This ain't gonna help you for Jamel Charlo. It ain't gonna help you. You know, so it's only only other way to step in the right direction with a real 154 pounder next time. This is a welterweight fight.
just with that 10 ounce gloves on for the most part. So, I mean, and then we see him in there with an actual 54 pounder, it's going to be hard to gauge. But yeah, Jose just, you know, that, that decision with us, that decision, you know, they got him whatever put in that position or. It was it was a mistake that he got shot in the leg that that the end of his career virtually. But it was good that he got a good payday today. He probably gonna take around seven hundred, seven fifty, seven hundred fifty thousand home, maybe a million. He got a good payday with Crawford. So I mean, really, he still went on and had a very credible uh, career. But it could have been so much more. You know what I'm saying? So big guy, and Danny Garcia broke him down. Bare bare metal. He did what he wanted to do. He did what he wanted to do. Nothing more than that. Jose caught him, caught him a couple of times, but I mean, what else is there to do for him? But Danny Garcia, come on, you know, I don't think he's ready for Charlo. I don't think he's ready for none of the 154 pounder, let alone Lara. Lara's is gonna be too big for him. He gonna he gonna get bullied. I mean, that's like fighting Keith Thurman, but physically stronger. That's exactly what it is. And a little bit, Lara fighting a little bit more aggressive these days. But we stack him up against 54. But tonight it was his night. He was sharp as a tack. Um. Um. No, you know, he threw straight punches, he led off, he countered. Jose Benavidez just he can't his body can't do what his mind needed to do, and that's it. But previewing Danny versus other opponents, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, this wasn't even one of the upper echelon welterweights he fought. It wasn't like he went up there and fought Sean Porter. Or he went up there and fight Errol Spencer, Jerron Ennis. This wasn't that. This is tailor made, and you know, going this don't get this don't help you getting ready for Lara. This don't help you get ready for Jamel Charlo. You know, yeah, you get to make the weight once to see how you feel and see how you take the punishment. But you virtually fighting the welterweight that blew up to forty seven. No matter what the scales say, the following day, the following morning, that's what he is. When you get in there with a, with a, with a welterweight, when you get in there with a real super welterweight, that's going to be the true test. That's that's gonna that's gonna be the that's gonna be the, that's gonna they'll tell you really everything you need to know. But he looks sharp as hell tonight. You know you love to see him versus Terrence Crawford. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll love him to see him come back down the way. You'll love to see him. You know fight Tony Harris. You love to see him fight Jamel Charlo. You know he a name. I told you any 154 pounder that come up 147 pounder come up to 54, they gonna be a name. Don't matter. He a name. So congratulations, Danny Garcia. You know his decision. Um, I know Jose Benavidez Jr. raised his arm up. Probably call it a career for him. Hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Take the fight reaction playlist out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live with our video. And then you want to support the channel. All my stuff there. We hit my link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. The first link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's in the conversation. Peace. And don't forget to check out my Detroit channel right here on YouTube. Mercy Sports Talk. More sports music news and entertainment around Detroit. Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.